Marriage is not a scam. Mm -hmm. We are the people who are scams. And so scam plus scam makes a scam. Yes. But God is not a scam. Yeah. So that is the challenge we have. We Number two, physical, we yeah. the elderly people, we are to be blamed. Mm -hmm. When did you sit down with your son and daughter mm -hmm. and told them how they are supposed to behave? So, I have sons. Have I talked to them about sexuality? Have I told them that there's something called masturbation? And what are the side effects? Have I told them about pornography? I being the mother. Have I told them about homosexuality? Have I told them about bestiality? Have I told them yeah. about, about sodomy, having sex through mm. the anus, and all these things? <laughs> if I have not told them, internet is there to tell them. And because curiosity killed the cat, mm -hmm. And the first person who should yeah. give you information is your mother and your father, and yeah. they failed because they shied off, and the internet is not shying off. They are likely to follow what the internet tells them Absolutely. than me. Yeah. So that's why we decided with Pastor Munene, when our children were very young, mm. we introduced them sex at four years. We kept repeating the topic, the topic, until it entered into their nerves. And when the Tuatua clip came, when people were asking, Sir, Sir, what are we, Mama, wana skianga aji, akiongea oh, mambo ya sex? My, son, my two sons were saying, Mom, can you call a, a press conference? Mm -hmm. Let Kenyans know. Kuku kwetu sex ni, ni kama chakura, ni kama saramu, asubui rancha njioni. Allah? Yes. Wajue, they are the, the first people to get, the, they mm -hmm. are getting the second information. Sex huku kwetu, tulianzishwa tukiwa nini, I think four years. Mm. Even today they know. There's nothing. We even told them they are a product of sex between me and the father. <laughs> We have to be that open. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't tell them, mm -hmm. other people will tell them and they'll believe a and lie. They need, they also, and they might, they might be distorted. And it. actually they also need to understand mm -hmm. the consequences of having uh, sex. In fact, I need to come another show and speak about the five development stages of a child. You'll be amused. We'll discuss but I can about mention that. them just one. Yes. There's the, 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 in, the oral, mm -hmm. where the child gets pleasure from the mouth mm -hmm. between one year and one year and a half. The second stage begins from 18 months and above. It is called the anal stage. When the child is beginning to poop, to be, to be taught how to poop, it's also a stage if it is messed. If it is messed by the mother and the father, that's why there's a lot of drinking. Can you see this drinking and a lot of smoking and shisha and all that? It's nothing else. Something happened between one, one year and three years. Then we have another stage that is from four years to six years. It's called the phallic, where the boys admire to have the vagina of the mother and the, and the, and the girls oh admire to have the penis of the father. Allah? Yes. It is a stage. It is called Oedepas. And another one is called, uh, for, the, for the girls, it's called Erectras. I'll speak about it another time. Yes. It, it, is, it is through the, yeah, the theory. You can go on internet yes. and get it. It's with Signo, Sigmoid Field. Mm -hmm. He's the one who comes out with that theory. And then we have the, 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 the latent. The latent stage begins from six years up to 11 years. Well, that time, a father and mother is a hero mm. to the daughter and to the son. Yeah. Whatever you tell them that time, it sticks in them even when they are 100 years. And during this stage between 6 years and 12 years, their sexual urge is dormant, is suppressed. They, they, they have no, even they forget whether they have a vagina or penis. Because that's when they are learning skills about life. So that is the time to, in, to instill. Not because us, we had knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's why we started early. Yeah. That's why I said be, the difference between an, a man, a woman and a man, uh, between me and you, is knowledge. You have everything mm. that I have. Mm. But the difference between the two of us is knowledge. So how much are we investing in the knowledge to make sure that we don't make the same mistake? Mm. Can I say this? When children are well taught by their parents from 6 years to 12, 12 years about sexuality, they will never defeat mm. I tell you, my sons are big, but they have never had sex. Yes. But they'll go mix with girls, mingle, dance, do everything, and they'll come and tell me, guess me, guess what, ma'am? Missy Jaingia, me kufak mutu apana, miss wezi, miss wezi. They know, we have taught them, that when you are a man, the way God has created a man, mm. and it has been scientifically proven, that a boy can make decisions about relationship and marriage when he's 25 years. That's when the mind is fully formed. That's when his, his heart is fully formed to look mm. for the right wife. Before the 25th year, can you mingle? Can you mix? Can you talk? Go to anywhere. So we have taught them, and don't commit yourself to any girl. But ladies mature faster. A 15-year-old girl will, will make a wife. 18-year-old girl, 20-year-old girl, 21. Women mature because naturally a woman is a natural. Yes. But for men, no. You have, to be, you have to mingle with girls. Why? This is the mistake that our, our, our teenagers do. When they are in campus, when they are in, in circle, yes. because they have not been taught. Yes. When they are in circle, when they are in campus, when they are in college, uh, when they are working, and they are not yet 25 years, mm. they have already committed themselves to one girl. 
Unasikia mtu akikwambia mimi niko mimi niko na niko na, na, na msichana hata tuliachana na tulianzana na yeye form 1. Mm. Sasa uki, uki, when you hold on to one girl and that relationship goes and you marry this is what happens. <laughs> this is powerful. Mm -hmm. When you marry you find you want to do something we call the law of compensation. Yes. You want to go back to do what you never did. Yes. I don't know whether you have found men and women who are already married, but they want to move with younger girls and younger boys. Mm -hmm. It is because of compensation. Mm. They want to compensate for what they never did. There's something they, they yeah. Yes. But if you mingled with the girls, you, 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 you had all this time to have fun and all that. When you marry, you are serious. Mm. You are able to disconnect. You are getting that. Eh? Mm. And you are able to connect. So the challenge we have is people don't have knowledge. So at the end of the day, what is happening? People are just moving on. Ni pata potea, pata potea. No wonder there is a lot of heartbreak. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of relationships that are not working. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because people don't want knowledge, knowledge that is based on the truth. And so the there's, there's, yeah, mm. yes. there's a specific topic that I want you to, 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 to take us. Yes. Which is very, very strong. Yes. The topic of sex. Because yes. we need to understand sex mm -hmm. on a deeper level. Yes. We need to understand uh, e -e Mamboya, LGBTQ. Yes. Basically, sex with the same uh, gender. With the same gender, yes. We need to understand your mm -hmm. Mamboya Arnold. Yes. We need to understand Mamboya Toys. Yes. We need to understand about uh, marriage uh, sex. Yes. Sex in marriage. Yes. Mm. We need to understand when you do sex before marriage, what yes. happens. Oh, yes. We need also to understand rejection in, 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 in sex, uh, rejecting sex yes. within marriage uh -huh. institution. Yes. What happens between a couple when there is no sex? Wow. You those are wonderful topics. Yes. Mm -hmm. So those are the things I want us to exhaust on. So yes. you can choose where to start. Wonderful. Based on uh, where you feel free uh, wow. to, 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 to talk about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. But basically, I want us to talk about sex. About in sex. Mm -hmm. Wow. I would throw that to my husband to, uh -huh. to, to begin off the to ball. Unzeal, to unzeal and then we continue. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about sex. Wow. Thank you very much, Vicky. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I want to begin by saying sex is a very beautiful thing mm -hmm. when it is done at the right time. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, of course, in the right context, oh, it's yes. very, very important. Mm -hmm. But um, you realize that most of the people, when they get into marriage, the first thing they think about it is sex. Mm -hmm. And even most of the people who are young and they are getting into that, mm -hmm. the reason why they are coming together it is because of sex. Mm -hmm. While sex should not be, you know, the major thing should why people are coming why together. people are coming yes. together oh yes you know it should be maybe like the last maybe thing mm -hmm. in one way or the other mm. and uh, that's why you find that most of the people they get bored they are not happy with relationships and all that because they can't attend the long thing mm. but when you practice sex within the context of marriage you know within the confines of marriage mm. then you are doing the right thing yes i also want to say as you mentioned, um, uh, many people today you also find they are following um, a Western culture, yes. Oh, yes. which again is very, very long. Mm. Mm. You see, don't do something because you just heard maybe from the media mm -hmm. or because maybe uh, your friend is doing it. Oh, yes. It's important to ask yourself before you do anything, why are you doing it? And what is the benefit yes. of that very thing? Oh, yes. mm. For instance, if today maybe you say, I'm Mr. Monene, and I look for Mr. John, mm. and we want to be together, and we form a family, what is our future? Mm. Where are we going? Mm. Suppose there was no a, a female and a male. Mm. I will not be here today. Mm. The reason why I'm existing today because is because was, yes. there, were, there was a male and, and a, a female. A female. Oh, yes. So when I become selfish, and I go and get somebody there who is like me, what simply I'm saying is, I am not generational. Wonderful. What I'm saying is, I am selfish. Yes. yes. When you are selfish, you don't think about other people. When you are selfish, you don't think about the future. Wow. It's just about you. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And so by the end of the day, you realize you have wasted your life. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then number two, it's important to know that there's a reason why God created you. Mm. Like I said, if you don't follow the pattern of the word of God, by the end of the day, you live a very miserable life. life. Yes. Yes. 
Wow, yeah. that's very mm -hmm. true. Yes. I want to say that uh, sex is very important, as mm -hmm. Pastor Monene has just said, mm -hmm. but it needs to be done in the right, in the right, with the right person mm -hmm. at the right time mm -hmm. in the right place. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, because there's a very little education about uh, staying pure, staying without sex, mm -hmm. people are following the social media, mm -hmm. and now the world has become a global village, mm -hmm. such that we are able to see what is happening in America, UK, mm -hmm. wherever. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of copying. Copy and paste, Doing copy and paste. Because we've seen it. Yeah, and then we, we have a lot of, uh, what we call them, these movies that we watch, mm. romantic movies. And so we have a lot, of, and, and a lot of expectations. When we get into a relationship, there's a lot of expectation. You want this life. But in the real sense, that is not what your boyfriend can offer. That's not what your wife can mm. offer. Mm. And so because of this un unmet expectation, that's why you're finding people have gone wayward. You know, and so much about now what Pastor Monana is talking about social media. That if you want to go to masturbation site, it's available. If you want to go to homosexual site, it is available. You know, if you want to go to bestiality, men, men and women having sex with animals, it is available. All this information that is available is all perversion. It is moving you from the original the original part, because we said the greatest gift God has given a human being is the willpower. And that willpower can make decisions against God who made it. You get that. That's why there's all these people who are saying, my rights, my rights, my rights. But at the end of the day, you keep wondering what rights, because they are, they're also violating the other person's, whatever, the other person's uh, uh, life, as, and he's saying about selfishness. Mm. So I think one of the things that has lacked is, is precise, accurate knowledge mm. that is based on the truth. There's a lot of myth a lot of myth out there. Mm -hmm. Like I find uh, most of the times, um, like the, the men, they don't know how to control their erection. You know, when you get erect, what are you supposed to do? We talked to our sons as early as four years, mm -hmm. and we told them that a man, a man is created by God to erect four, five to 11 times in 24 hours, knowing or not knowing. They need to be aware about that. Yes. So peradventure, if the penis, he doesn't wonder what do I need to do? He already knows that it is normal for him. To, you to get that. Like that. Yeah, to, to do that. Yes. And I keep telling the, 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 the married, even the young people, never allow your erection to determine your direction in life. Mm -hmm. yes. That's a mistake because mm -hmm. kumanisha meamusha, siyo kumanisha, you need a vagina, mm -hmm. you need a penis. Yeah. Is the body telling you you, you are normal? Mm -hmm. Feeling honey mm -hmm. when you are 18 years, 21 years, 20, 25, 26, mm -hmm. is telling you that you are a normal woman mm -hmm. because you need those sexual feelings when you're married. Mm -hmm. You get that. Because when you are created by God in your mother's womb, that compartment of sex was put by God. Mm. So as you mature and understand when it's supposed to be done and you're taught right, that's when you're supposed to have sex. Mm. But this casual sex, transactional sex, that's why there's a lot of heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Because the more you have many men in your life and many women in your life, the more they distort your picture of your marriage. Mm. You go in marriage thinking, well, oh, oh, women, women, women are liars, women are cheaters. And there's all that in the, in the social media. We have mm. seen that. Mm. People have been married for 15 years, 10 years, but they are cheating. Mm. You see that? So yes. at the end of the day, it distorts the original, the original what? The original purpose the of marriage. Of and the, the original that. picture that you had about yeah. marriage. Mm. You get that. Eh? So the challenge is because the social media is with us here. Mm. And if we don't have uh, the truth to compare from the lies, we are likely to live a life of lies, thinking mm. we are on track. Mm -hmm. You get that. Mm. Like, for example, I see girls saying that, I miss where's your lamb to buy Hannah Pesa, Hannah, 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 Hannah Kiss, mm. Hannah Gary. But these, these men have, me, I want to marry a man with a vision. Mm. He may not have a car there now, mm -hmm. but, but he will he have a car. Potential. When we married with Pastor Monene, we didn't have what we have. But I could sense that there's some greatness in him. Yes. I could tell this man is a man with a vision mm -hmm. of where he's going, where he's going, and he, what he want to see in his family. Mm -hmm. I followed the vision. Today we have everything we need. And I mean it. But when we began, there was nothing. There was, nothing. There was only a vision and two people who are willing to walk together the journey. But look at what has happened. Now our girls want men with the keys, men with the cars, men, and so the only men they can get are married men. Exactly. And you see, getting, <laughs> dating a married man is like driving a government car that will never be yours. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I tell you. Uh -huh. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. The way you can work for the government of Kenya and they give you a Range Rover, but the day you'll be retrenched, the next police station, you are told to take it there. Mm -hmm. This man 
will never be proud of you. He will never take you home. Can you imagine if somebody uh, got, got into relationship with Pastor Munene? Just think, you must remain hidden forever. Because Pastor Sue is on the front. You will never go at our home. You never, you never know his, his relatives. You only know Monene. So at the end of the day, you live a hidden life. Whereas you'd have gotten a man who has a vision. He may not have money, but he, sees, he seems to have a proper sense of direction. Move on together. Mutafute Mali. Pastor Susan, oh, yes. just to cut you a little bit short. Yes. Uh, our last, our previous guest yes. was a polygamous man. Yes. Okay. And, and he had, he has two wives. Yes. And they're both living under the same roof. Yes. So they're living under the same roof as, as three. Yes. And they are, they are kids as well. Yes. Are you saying you don't believe in polygamy? No, absolutely no. A hundred percent no. What do you mean? Oh my goodness. It is in the word of God. You look and go and study. If you want to study, go and study the word of God. All the families that were polygamous and see the end result. The children killed one another. There was a lot of enmity. Even Penina and, and Hannah. You look at you, you look at Abraham. Abraham Sarah brought Hagar. Look at what happened to their lives. Look at Rebecca and Jacob and his children. And look at the words that Jacob said to his son when he was dying. One wife is too enough. One husband is too enough to keep you busy until Jesus comes back again. I tell you the truth. It can work for one person, but it doesn't work. And I know the constitution of Kenya allows polygamous. But I want to tell the people who are listening to me, it doesn't work. Kwanza today, it doesn't work for many. It may work for one person. Yeah, it may work for one person. Yes. You see, if something works for one person, doesn't does not mean that it works for yes. all. It's not for everyone. But you see, from the beginning, mm -hmm. the Bible says very well. If you mm -hmm. read the book of Mark, uh, Mark 10, from verse 2 to 9, the Pharisees came and asked Jesus that, uh, that uh, the Moses said that you can give certificate of divorce mm -hmm. to your wife and your husband. Jesus said this. It is because of the hardness of your heart mm -hmm. that Moses said this. Mm -hmm. Then he said this. From the beginning, it was not so. Mm -hmm. God meant marriage for a male and female. If God wanted polygamous, he would have made sure, he would have made sure mm -hmm. that, um, that who? That, that Adam had two Eves, Evelyn and Eve. In fact, God would have been the first mm -hmm. model mm -hmm. because he's the one who originated marriage. Mm -hmm. But we have said about the power of the mind. Mm -hmm. God has given you the power of mind and the power of mind is what makes choices. Mm -hmm. You can choose to have 10 like Solomon. What did Solomon do after having 700 uh, concubines and 300 wives? What did he say? It is vanity of vanity. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't work. The word of God and the Bible says the reason why these things are there is to, to act as an example to us. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Mm. We have come from such families and they never worked. You find there is a lot of rivalry among the children. The, 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 first, the first children of the, of the, of the wife, Unakuta, they are not agreeing. And there is a lot of fakeness. If you ask them, interview them, I have interviewed them some. And they tell me, we say this because if we don't do, Fadi Ataripa school fees, Ataripa school fees, so me, I'm waiting. Me, me, nikitoka mikononi mwake. He will never see me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Even if it works for one person. It may work for one person because he believes in that and there's a way he has programmed the wife. But I'm telling you, one wife and one husband is too enough. I don't believe in it a thousand percent. So, I don't. tell us an, uh, about... And I respect. And I respect him having three, four wives. Have no problem. Mm -hmm. But for me, being in the marriage docket... From a national level, mm -hmm. it doesn't work, sweetheart. So tell me about marriage. Mm. Uh, tell me about sex in marriage. Sex in marriage. And mar where mm. women are... Let's talk about where women are failing yes. when it comes to sex in marriage. Wonderful. Thank you so much for pointing mm -hmm. it so that you can ask him where men are also failing. Mm. <laughs> Number one, when you, when, when you are married as a, husband and, as, a, as, a, as a husband and a wife, it is important for you to understand what, the, what, what does the word of God say about sex. Mm. Are you aware... The Bible, because me, I'm a Christian, that it has over 200 verses that talks about sex. How many verses do you know? Many people tell you none. Mm. Then if you don't know knowledge, you see now knowledge again, mm. you are likely to make mistakes. When you're in marriage contest, according to the word of God in the book of 1 Corinthians 7 verse 5, mm. the Bible says, Musi nyimane, ninima muna nyimana, si akili. Ni sex. Mm -hmm. Because the reason why we have sex in marriage. Number one is for protection. Mm -hmm. It protects you from adultery. Yes. It, pro it protects you from being polygamous. Mm -hmm. 
you have so many concubines because this woman is not able to play her role. Mm. So as a wife, you must know that it is your personal responsibility to make sure that you satisfy your husband sexually. And yes. get a feedback mm. because your husband is your customer. You need to know, is the customer okay? <laughs> <laughs> because customer is always oh, right. Interesting choice of words. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, your husband. That's why the Bible says that a woman was created for the man. Man was not made for the woman. Where? For sexual satisfaction. Because for a man, he can erect any time. How do you tell a woman has erected? So I must understand the pattern of my husband. If he loves the sex so much, God has wired me for him. I should not tell him, I see you are too much. Sasa tufanyane jana, tufanyane leo. Kwani kuna ujungu? Is there any pain in my wife? And if there is pain, he takes me to the doctor and I'm treated. So we must, we must align our thinking because the biggest sex organ is not the vagina and the penis. The biggest sex organ is the mind. So yes. if your mind knows that you are married, ask Pastor Monene, I have never manipulated him with the sex. Anytime he needs me, I'm available for him. And anytime I also request for sex, he's also available for mm -hmm. me. Because for us, we discuss about it openly. Like the way we can discuss about money. Mm -hmm. So one thing that is failing is because they don't know that sex is for protection. You need to protect your husband against sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Bible says. That f f uh, a husband should have one wife. And a, and a wife should have one husband. That is the word of God. And they should have, th their sexual needs should be met. M men have sexual needs. Women have sexual needs. So when you're in marriage, you must understand as a wife, let me begin now from the wife point, that your husband has sexual needs, you also have sexual needs. So as he's, he's having sex, make sure also your needs are met. Most of the times married men, married women, they are there for their husbands. No, sex is also meant for you to enjoy in marriage. Yes. You get the point, yeah, eh? So that's another mistake that yeah. men do. Mm. Other times, another mistake that women probably do because they don't know what to do is the women who are circumcised. You are circumcised when you are very little girl. When you are five years, 13 years, mm. and you are circumcised by your show, show your aunt. So what happens? That deprives a woman completely from sexual pleasure. Mm -hmm. yes. Because the purpose of God putting the clitoris in a woman had no other business. It is for sexual pleasure. Absolutely. You get that. Yeah. So when it is cut off by the traditions of men, then you deny that woman, you deny that man during their marriage to enjoy sex. And that's why Jesus was saying in the book of Mark 17, verse 13, that you err, you make mistakes because of your traditions, mm. which have run down to your generations. Mm. So you find because our, our, maybe our tribe believes that a woman who is not circumcised cannot be a, a, a fully woman, they want to circumcise a woman. But that interferes with this, the sexuality of a, of a woman. Yeah. Why? When we are doing circumcision for, for men, we don't cut the gland penis, the tip of the penis. It is not the one that is cut. We remove the foreskin, mm. the prepuce. Mm. That is what is removed by the doctor to expose the penis to, more, to become more sensitive mm. and for the man to have more pleasure during sex. So the clitoris of a woman is another small penis. So how can you, just like you cannot cut the gland penis, the tip of a man, mm -hmm. you cannot cut the clitoris. Because if you cut the, the tip of a man, will he ever have sex? No. He can't even penetrate. Mm. So that is what you deprive a woman when you have sexual, when you have female genital circumcision. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that women go through is because of their past. They find themselves, you know, trapped by what happened in the past. And mm. I came to speak to the women who are there, who are circumcised against your will. You need to forgive the person who did it and move on and seek help. And we are here to help you. Mm. We are able to sit down with your husband and begin to see what else can we do to make sure that you also get orgasm like other women. Mm -hmm. It is something that you need to, to sit down and you are taught your anatomy and what the man needs to do and what you're supposed to participate. Mm. So sex is very important to a yeah. woman. Mm. It is important for women to know that anytime you are having sex with your husband and your wife, there are hormones that are produced in the brain mm -hmm. and those hormones cannot be produced in the brain if you're not having sex. For example, there's a hormone called oxytocin. Yes. This is the hormone that is responsible for bonding. That's why prior before sex, you feel a very strong attraction because the oxytocin is so high. Yes. You get that. Mm. Eh? There's another one called serotonin. There's another one called, um, uh, what do you call it, Dopa, uh, endorphin. Endorphin is after you ejaculate, after you reach orgasm. That feeling good hormone cannot be produced when you are washing clothes, when you are at the place of work, when you are praying. It can only be produced when you're having sex. And those hormones play a very important role in the well-being, total well-being of the person, mentally, spiritually, and physically. Yes. So sex is very important in marriage. And that's why it must be done as many times as possible. And there should not be any limit. 
in marriage. So.